What's up everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a room tour. Whoa, zoomy. Uh, on my room, obviously. And I was going to do sort of a picture-in-picture -picture thing, but this webcam kind of crapped out and I know how to fix it, but it's going to take a little bit. So, might have to work on getting a new webcam, but anyway, the video can be done without it. It was just something a little extra that wouldn't have been too amazing anyway. And there's the cat. What are you doing up there, kitty? You're just watching. You are just watching. Look at you. That is the majestic Meowgi in her natural habitat. Yes, it is, and doesn't give a shit. All right, so, yes, that's what I was going to do, but other than that, a uh, regular room tour. I don't know when we're going to give a house tour. That would go up on the hub, but uh, my room tour will obviously go up on the room. So, it shouldn't take that long. The room is pretty small, and uh, you'll see in a minute what I mean by pretty small. So, anyway... We'll do the computer last. First we have this light, which is blinding you right now. As you can tell, from the ceiling, that is my entire room ceiling, and you'll notice that there is no light on the ceiling. If we come over here to this outlet, it does nothing. This outlet does, or uh, not outlet, light switch. This light switch does nothing. It's not an outlet, it's a light switch. Yay! Uh, I guess if you want a light in this room, you would have to put it in yourself, and that's what would power it, but... Other than that, you are stuck with no light. I found this light, which is now blinding you again, in a closet in this house. So it was it was free, right? It was free. Don't shake your head no at me. It was free. Do this. Do this. Alright, fuck you. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was very lucky that this thing was actually in the house, because otherwise I'd have no, no lighting for at least a few days until I could actually get some sort of lamp. But, uh... Yeah, that was there. Anyway, uh, TV area. Here's the TV area. A lot of a lot of wires coming out from there. All of my consoles and stuff are here. There's Sly Cooper, which everyone and their mom has been asking me about. I will get back to that eventually. And some other games that I'm doing, plus all of my systems. The Xbox, the Wii, the PS3, the stupid Wii U pad. That really annoys me sometimes. But, uh, yeah, that's enough for that. The bed. The amazing bed in which I sleep on. You'll notice there is no bed frame for the bed. That's because I figured, with how small this room is, having a bed frame would it would not only block that, that outlet, which actually is an outlet, it would block that, which would be bad. Um, that'd be kind of poopy. That's usually just what I use for charging my phone or, or my my uh, pad thing, tablet, when I'm, when I'm going to bed and I just have that next to me. But uh, there's not a lot of room. So that's the first reason, and the second reason is whenever that little shit does something bad, yes, you, stop shaking your head no at me, whenever she does something bad, she would always run right under the bed frame, and I couldn't get her because of, uh, you know, it's, it's a bed frame, I can't fit under there. I'd have to lift the mattress up and then try and get her, and it was just, it wasn't worth it, so now she can't hide. When she tries to hide, she tries to run in the closet, but I can always catch her, so that's fantastic. We have a garbage can. We have... My nightstand from the other house, which has a couple of uh, portable systems on it. Thumbtacks, Febreze, Pepsi cans that need to be thrown out. More Febreze, tape, an alarm clock, and my old mic. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, we have my large ottoman here. Laptop bag, some Laffy Taffy, some Amazon stuff, and some underwear. Care package. My other ottoman, a little tiny ottoman. You, If you remember my room well enough, you would know I had two of those. That is also downstairs with the other black chair. DVDs! Mostly Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball GT, and wrestling stuff. And The Simpsons, that's primarily, and Frasier, primarily what makes up my DVD wall. So that's fantastic. And then, the final piece of the puzzle is my computer setup. Right there. That low to the ground. If you've heard what I've been saying before, you would know that I had a kind of crappy setup, but you didn't really know what it was like. The computer tower itself is taller than the actual table that I use. So, as you can tell, I sit on this. This is my chair until I get a bigger table. Fantastic. Um, and it, it's kind of a pain to sit here and record for extended periods of time because my, my back starts to hurt. As tall as I am not, I'm still too tall for this. I'm not that short. For whatever reason, people thought it was a, you know, running joke that because I was standing next to Jordan all the time, who is like six foot two or six foot three, that I was apparently four foot nothing, which 
isn't really the case. So this kind of sucks. Hurts my back, but uh, otherwise, there you go. That's pretty much the room besides the closet. Going to the closet. Yeah, you can see this. Someone tore the cover off of this. Do you know why? Do you know why someone tore the cover off of this? Let's see if I can find an actual... Actually, this one does. Whoever did this had, like, a decorative wall plate for the outlet, but certain... Certain plugs do not fit this, and that is why someone ripped multiple ones off. I don't know why that one's ripped off, but for the outlets at least, which I know one of the... one No, there's one of the other outlets. Um, probably dangerous. That's also upside down. Um... But certain plugs would not fit into that because they use decorative plates and it sucked. So it seems like someone got pissed off and started ripping them off, which is great. I'm talking way too much. I'm winding myself at this point. <sighs> stop and breathe. Stop and breathe. So anyway, we come to the closet, which has uh, some, some vitamins over there and it has random statues. And there's the rest of my statues. We have clothes. Clothes, more clothes, and clothes, and frame rate issues, and clothes, and clothes that need to be washed. Also games, and cat food. And that's pretty much it. All of these statues are in here because they would not fit anywhere else, and that is basically the room. I hope you've enjoyed this. I will be sure to up the, update those of you who care whenever I get a table. Because Oh, what's the cat doing? You were doing something cute. Oh, you're doing something cute. What are you doing? You're just kind of, oh, 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 you're going to fall off. You're going to fall off. You better, okay. But uh, whenever I get the table, this whole area right here is probably going to change. And that's a good thing. I won't be getting the table for a little while, though. So it'll probably be a couple weeks before I make a, a secondary video that kind of updates it. I also, I forgot the curtains. These curtains are taped shut and taped to the wall because the cat kept trying to jump on them to get to the window which there's not even really a windowsill over there, but she kept trying to jump up there and she ended up pulling the bar out of the wall, which was just great, you know? That was fantastic. That was one of the times she tried to run away and had nowhere to run. You had nowhere to run and hide. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Anyway, it's it looks poopy and tacky, but it keeps sunlight out and the cat can't fucking rip shit out of the wall again. And if she does by just clawing into it, then I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And we've come full square in the room, so that is it. Thank you for watching. This webcam needs to be fixed. And uh, until I do an update video, I will see you guys later.